I'm sure others would be thinking this. Um, because you, you hear that you're here to experience, you know, that, we're, that we're, we are individuations and we're, um, I guess, projections of God. I don't know if there's a better word. Um, but that we would be, that we are here to experience that uh, that's that's why we were created or thought up oh no oh gosh no i mean from the level of uh non-polarization from the level of the illumined worlds were you created as a means of god to experience itself yes absolutely no okay. question no question to take that to this level of consciousness is not accurate and i I come across people all the time who carry that, you know, oh, we're here to experience what it's like to live in opposites. Like, no, that's not, the, you weren't created to live in hell. Cause that's what you're, that's what you're saying. Cause this is the out picturing of hell, right? You've been kicked out of the garden of Eden. You can't, you're, you aren't let back in, <laughs> right? You are living the story of Adam and Eve here. That's, that's the reality of what's going on. Now, mm -hmm. ego can work really hard to paint a pretty picture around it. And ego can work really hard to turn it into a, a, a pretty dream. But as Jesus said in The Course in Miracles, it's still a nightmare, right? I mean, the dream is the dream. And... So I guess he didn't say it's a nightmare. I'm saying it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd agree. This is a nightmare here. And you don't see it for just as bad as it is until you get out of it. And then you come back in because a lot of, a lot of the, uh, this journey is this movement. Kind of you go, you pull out and you go back in, you pull out, you go back in. At a certain point you pull out and then you recognize just how oppressive this is just how heavy you feel here and how hard it is just to be in form here. And, you know, kind of like a, like a woman who's in her, you know, coming up on 10 months of pregnancy, man, she's just struggling every day. And then she has that baby and it's like, whoa, like I, I just got all of this off of me and I feel so much lighter and wow, I hadn't, I can't believe I was carrying all that weight. And it's, it's the same for you when, when you're able to pull out of the identification and you're freed up from it all and you go back in and it's like, whew, it's just heavy and hard. Yeah. Of course, you would know that just from meditation alone, you go deep enough in meditation and you get freed up. You know, when you, when you know you're not the body and you experience yourself as outside of the body and then you come back in and consciousness kind of has to get reseated to function in the world. You put that meat suit on and it's heavy, <laughs> right? And it hurts, not pleasant. So to, to say this is a, a, a game the ego likes to play, it likes to say, hey, we were created to be here and to do this stuff and ultimately to find our way back to to God or to find not, not even back. I think most people would say just to find our way to God. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, that is not accurate. That is no one ever set out. I mean, that would be, can you imagine? That's like the worst punishment <laughs> that God's going to be like, Hey, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Let's create a whole planet of people who are going to live in just abject misery for millions and millions of years just for fun. Let's just do it. I don't <laughs> I, I, <laughs> That is not what's going on here. It's as simple as the conception of a concept, right? The conception of a concept that says that I could be separate from what I am. And in that manifest reality literally came into being. And now we're stuck in it. It's very, very innocent, very innocent. Never in the divine plan to have it occur. And of course, one of the other the stories that we have to use which is true on a certain level is that, you know, we've come here in service to help lift humanity up back to that state of, you know, full union with the divine because it has fallen 
in in consciousness right in not 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 in reality but in consciousness it has fallen to a place where it feels separate from what it is so yeah no this is not <laughs> that's a that's a big misperception out there big one yeah mm -hmm. i have people who like to argue argue with me about that too yeah oh yeah 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 well, think about it. The ego feels better if it can say, oh, this is how it was meant to be, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I'm just going to keep plugging away and we'll get there. Yeah. And then it can feel good about that. And, you know, yeah. It's yeah. just something to make the whole experience more palatable, I think, <laughs> to an ego that truly doesn't want out anyway. Yeah. Mm hmm well, I think it also gives us a sense of purpose, which is actually my next question. Uh, so <laughs> Why am I sorry. here? What's my purpose? Well, and you know what's so funny? <laughs> like, like, those are questions that we've kind of, as students, have kind of been steered away from. Yes. You know? Sure. But I also know that that's a huge question. Those, those two are huge questions for people. Yeah, and, you know, um, as far as you know, what's my purpose? Um, you know, I think I think people feel like they have to have a purpose to go of on course. living. <laughs> of course, I mean, what ego can function without some kind of a purpose? Even if its purpose is to make you miserable. It has to have something. Hey, do you think that's why we cling on to our roles? Do you think? <laughs> that makes so much sense. <laughs> Who wants to hear there's no purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to hear there's no meaning to anything? <laughs> yeah. Who wants to hear that? That's yeah. really disturbing for an ego. Liberating in one sense. Mm. highly disturbing to an ego right but at a certain point it's just laughable it's laughable yeah. there's no purpose there's no meaning to anything <laughs> because as soon as you try to apply meaning you're you're walking in and attaching to concept mm. and that's what holds you here that's what holds yeah. you here so now, people don't want to hear that. I mean, it takes a very specific person who goes, oh, okay. Ooh, I, I kind of, I like that. Like, <laughs> let's go with that for a while. Mm -hmm. That's a scary, I'm sorry, you have a whole life in front of you and you got half of it behind you and, and who knows, maybe 10, 20 more years in front of you. And what was the purpose? There was no purpose. Like, sh shoot, I might as well just kill myself now and get it over with. I'm <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what an ego would say. Oh, like why, yeah. why did I save that hundred thousand dollars? There's no purpose, <laughs> but, but so I get that people want to know that, but again, who's asking the question? Mm. The ego asks the question because the ego is uncomfortable with the state of uh itself and the state of the world it it believes you know i was working with another student uh just today and <laughs> this came up that whole thing that the 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 ego is hell-bent on finding the answers to everything i mean look and just look look at the collective ego in terms of this thing right this thing i can find the answer to anything in the palm of my hand <laughs> Yeah. Right. That's like the ego in a nutshell right there, because I've got to know now. And it literally thinks that if you can just give me enough information, I'll use the intellect. I'll use that capacity for, for thought and processing to literally think my way into enlightenment. The ego believes that's true. It really does. I see it all the time in my students. Well, could you explain that? I think the reason I haven't gotten further is because I don't have deeper understandings in place. And I would say, really? 
It's like the last thing you need is more understandings. You know what you need? You need to get away from all the information and just go sit in the silence. That's what you need. That'd be the best thing for you. And then the ego goes, oh gosh, like why? You know, but can't you just get, can't you tell me more about, pick something. St. Germain? Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a piece because I don't understand St. Germain. And I'm like, it's not, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Yeah, but isn't St. Germain real? Well, sure, he's real but it's not necessary for you to move to the next level. Yeah. When it becomes necessary, that information will be provided to you, <laughs> whether it be through me or something else that's going to happen in, in right timing because it's needed then. But until then to, to look for more information, it just makes it messier. Right. 